friends, it's election day. Thank God, finally. Are you happy that this nightmare is almost over with? I personally am, because it's just time for it to be done. Every single commercial has been a political ad for weeks now, and it's time to move on. But we do have to do our duty today first. We are all owners of a franchise here in the United States, and that franchise is our vote. And it's important that we go out and exercise uh, our political will and put people in charge who hopefully can do what we need them to do and what we want them to do. There is this language that goes on all the time that we are democracy. We are not a democracy. We are a representative republic. We are a constitutional republic. That is what we are. We elect people to go do this stuff for us. And that is why this is important, because if you elect the wrong people, then you get all sorts of bad things. And you don't think it's bad? Last night, I took my son to Wendy's to get him a Frosty because, you know, nice dad and all. A thimble of friggin' Frosty from Wendy's is three bucks now. It's insane. And this is what the last two years have brought us. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to cover a few things that have been in the news in the last 24 to 48 hours that I find of interest. And I want to put them in your brain because these are things that I think you should have in the back of your mind or quite frankly in, in the front of your mind as you go and cast your vote today and decide who it is that you should put in office uh, not only nationally, but locally. Local is more important than ever. We've got to take back our communities. That's where it starts. So we're going to get into that. My name is Dan. This is the Soul of Wisdom. If you have not come across me before, hi. Uh, please do consider subscribing, uh, liking this video, sharing this video with your friends, and let's get out all sorts of good information. If you've been with us before, welcome back. Okie dokie. Why are you not? There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes buttons are slow to reply to my pushing. Anywho, on your screen, if you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, you will see a few stories that we're going to go through. If you're on the podcast side, just listen along. So this is from Fox News. Pennsylvania Senate Fetterman's camp sues over undated absentee ballots. Uh, the Fetterman campaign filed a lawsuit against the Pennsylvania election officials on Monday demanding undated and misdated absentee balance be counted in the midterms. This decision to sue the Pennsylvania County Board of Elections comes nearly a week after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ordered the board to refrain from counting any absentee and mail-in ballots received before the November 8th general election that are in undated or incorrectly dated envelopes. Specifically, the language from their complaint. The date requirement imposes unnecessary hurdles that eligible Pennsylvanians must clear to exercise their most fundamental their most fundamental right, excuse me, resulting in otherwise valid votes being arbitrarily rejected without any reciprocal benefit to the Commonwealth. Bullpucky. <laughs> You know, we we do a lot of mail-in voting here in Arizona where we are, and because of all the businesses that we run, we also do mail-in voting here in this, this house because time-wise it works better for us. But the instructions are very clear. We have to sign the envelope. We have to date the envelope. Our signature has to match what's on file. If these things aren't met, the vote is not counted. It's not hard to do. So this language that they would say it imposes an unnecessary hurdle because you can't figure out a date. Why is it, especially on the Democrat side, that they always want to take voters and put them forward as some kind of stupid, incompetent idiots that can't do anything? Don't you find that insulting? I find it insulting. I mean, super insulting. It's not that hard to put a date on something. And there are hard and fast dates throughout life that you have to know and comply with. So it's not like you don't understand a calendar. You know, take a look at the car you drive every day. If your plate is one day past its expiration date with the DMV, 
You're going to get ticketed. You're going to get pulled over. Uh, I don't... This is insulting. This this idea that that people are too stupid to put dates on it. Therefore, we have to we 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 have to still count those votes anyway to make up for their stupidity. I don't know. I have a problem with that. So keep that in mind. The Democrat side, at least in the state of Pennsylvania, believes the rules should be bent because somebody can't follow a simple direction about putting a date on something. Just saying. All right, this from the Daily Wire. Interest payments on the national debt on pace to surpass military spending. Interest payments on the national debt are slated to be larger than defense expenditures within the next five years, according to Moody's Analytics. The federal government spent $475 billion on net interest payments to service the national debt during the last fiscal year. Wrap your brain around that for a minute. <clears throat> Because the the current um, Powerball that we just had what was it like around four billion or something like that, so you would have to be lucky enough to win the Powerball, the the bill, the multi billion dollar one, like a dozen times and not be taxed on it, just to pay the national debt interest. For one year. This is what the people that we have placed in power before today have done for us. Now, that just hasn't happened over the last two years. It's happened over decades and decades. But it has to stop. At some point, we have to elect people that say, you know what? If we can't afford it, we don't do it. The government has to be small. It has to be, be reeled in considerably. Because no civilization in the history of ever has spent themselves into prosperity that's not how it works but that's this modern monetary theory that they try to push and it's crazy but anyways the article goes on that they think by 2025 to 2026 the interest rates are the the interest rates are growing at a pace because our interest rates are going up thanks to the fed that by that date, the payments are going to exceed $767 billion, which is what we spend on defense. So it's going to almost double for an insane number already. This is dead money. This is money that doesn't do anything. It's like if you have a credit card and your interest payments on that credit card are $100 a month. That's $100 a month that's just dead to you straight away. It's not doing you any good. It's just servicing the debt you have. Now put that in the billions. It's crazy. Not good. Keep that in mind. Is the candidate you're voting for, do they have any fiscal responsibility to them? If they don't, you should probably reconsider them. Alrighty. <clears throat> this from the Daily Wire. Stacey Abrams says her poll numbers are low because black men can't see through misinformation. Now, you might know Stacey Abrams as the person who thinks she is governor of Georgia already because she claims that the last election was stolen from her. You might also know her as like the president of the universe because she was on uh, Star Trek Discovery, one of the worst shows ever. And I love Star Trek and they've just butchered it all to hell. But they brought her on to be like the, what was it, the president of United Earth or some kind of BS. I don't know. She's not even an actress, so whatever. It's all, it's all staging. Uh, but she says, quote, Unfortunately, this year, black men have been a very targeted population for misinformation. Not, inf not misinformation about what they want, but about why they want what they deserve. Let me repeat that, just in case you didn't understand what she was saying there. Not misinformation about what they want, but about why they want what they deserve. Do you still not understand what she's saying? Good, because I don't either. It doesn't make any sense. But... Is that a surprise? Probably not, because they're just spouting words. And what's insulting here, if you are a black man, do you find it insulting that she is, is arguing that you've been manipulated? 
Do you find it insulting that, again, this is another Democratic politician implying that there's a group of people that are stupid? And she's saying that black men are stupid, that they've been targeted, that they've been misled. And they've been misled about what they want and why they want what they deserve. And she, her words don't even make sense. It's crazy. So keep that in mind, especially if you're in Georgia. Do you want this woman leading your state? <laughs> Do you want her doing anything? Would you want her being dog catcher? Probably not, because why do we elect people who try so hard to throw groups of people under the bus? It doesn't make any sense. So keep that in mind. Let's go back to Fox News. Hurry up, browser update. There we go. Okay. Michigan's Whitmer, that's Gretchen Whitmer, the current governor, and she's in a pretty close race with uh, Tudor Dixon. So we'll see how that goes. Michigan's Whitmer refers to women as people with a period in final midterm pitch to voters. For the record, I was born in Michigan, grew up in Michigan, and I will never go back to Michigan again, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever. It holds nothing for me because, especially politically, they seem to have lost their minds. Gretchen Whitmer locked down the state to no frigging end. You couldn't... <clears throat> You can go into a store like Meyer up there or <coughs> excuse me or Home Depot or Lowe's and shop the paint department during the lockdowns. Why? Nobody knows. You could go do other things, but you couldn't buy paint. So you couldn't use the time to do home improvement. I don't know. Don't get it. Anyways, quote from her. A bipartisan tax cut will help reduce the economic burden of the cost of menstrual products, especially for lower-income Michiganders, she says in a clip, saving people with a period from paying taxes on up to $4,800 in spending over the course of their lifetime. This is another thing. Why is it that we can't define what a woman is anymore? Okay, If you have a period, you're a woman. It's just that simple. Why do we have to use other language? Are you okay with this? Up until five frigging minutes ago, everybody knew what a man was and a woman was. And now all of a sudden, nobody's allowed to define it, to say it. That's stupid. That's crazy. And it has no place in the leadership of our country. So if you're voting in Michigan, you should consider this. If you're voting in places with with people who have similar views on what's a man and what's a woman, maybe you should consider this. Do you want this person leading when they're not even smart enough, apparently, to tell you what a woman is and they have to use other language? I'm just saying. Let's hop back to the Daily Wire. Ahead of midterm elections, Biden snaps at rally. No more drilling. There is no more drilling. Biden snapped at a young woman who attended a political rally for gubernatorial New York candidate Kathy Hochul. No more drilling. There is no more drilling, Biden snapped at a young woman in the crowd. I haven't formed any new drilling. Woman shouted back, there are at least five more years of offshore drilling. President Biden responded, that was before I was president. We're trying to work on that and get that done. He went on to say, I was in Massachusetts about a month ago on a site of the largest old coal plant in America. Guess what? It cost them too much money. No one is building new coal plants because they can't rely on it. Even if they have all the coal guaranteed for the rest of the existence of the plant, that's editorial problems. I hope he said planet and not plant. Uh, get a copy, editor, Daily Wire. Anyways, so it's going to become a wind generation. And they're all doing this. It's going to save them a hell of a lot of money and use the same transmission lines that they have transmitted the coal-fired electric on. And we're going to be shutting these plants down all across America and having wind and solar power. Here's the thing that I keyed in on from that, where he says, because they can't rely on it. So he's arguing that coal is somehow unreliable, but wind power, which relies on there being wind, and solar power, which re 
lies on it not being cloudy and stormy are reliable. Again, do you want to vote for people who really think this way? I've said it in multiple videos, right up above my head, the roof over our house is covered with solar panels. Do they help on the electric bill? Yeah, a little bit. Do they solve the electricity needs in this home? No. And there's no more room on the roof. It's covered with them. It's not enough energy to just power this house. It's it's stupid. We've crisscrossed the country, my wife and I, traveling at least a dozen times. So we've driven through lots of these wind farms along the way in different parts of the country, in different states. Every time, at least three quarters of the windmills aren't even turning. So can we rely on that? No. And oh, by the way, have you seen these windmill graveyards? Go Google it. There are just fields of these 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 uh, turbines in their parts that have worn out just lying there. And they can't put them in landfills because they're too toxic, they're too pollutant. But this is somehow saving the planet. So think about that when you're voting. Just a couple more here. Let's go back to Stacey Abrams again from the Daily Wire. She claims that she can win if voters navigate GOP voter suppression. Good Lord. Here's the interesting thing. I'm going to skip most of this because I've already heard enough from Stacey Abrams. But the article points out that as of Friday, more than 2 million people have voted via early voting in Georgia. And that smashes previous records in Georgia. She's also warned voters that they should elect her or transgender kids will be banned from playing with their friends. Parents will be forced to lie. 500,000 people will lose health care and the alphabet individuals won't be protected. Again, do you want this person? Do you want anybody even like her? Does it make any sense? Everything so divisive, so hyper-political, so this <laughs> excuse me got a little bit of a cold this fringe minority group is going to lose out because you voted in somebody that wants a smaller government and maybe a balanced budget and maybe protect our borders i don't know you tell me is that person worth voting for you should consider that when you're in line to cast your vote today but let's finish on this nice note Officials warn some election results may not be known right away. Officials across the country are warning Americans of the possibility that the full results of Tuesday's midterm elections might not be known for days. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read it. It really doesn't matter. But they're already trying to send out the narrative that this is going to take time. So you have to be patient. And I guarantee you, the races where it's going to take time are going to be the ones where the Democrat is trailing at the end of the night. And they won't call it because they'll be like, well, we've got to make sure we've got to make count all these votes, all of that. Mark my words. That's how it's going to go down. If a Republican's trailing, they'll call it. That's just how it's going to go. But this is the kind of thing that has brought us to the place where we don't have the confidence in the elections anymore, quite frankly. I've been on this earth for a good amount of time now. I just celebrated a milestone birthday a little over a week ago. And I will tell you that I remember a time when you knew what was happening that night or the next morning at the absolute latest. And now with all of our technology, with all of our advances, with all of our everything, it takes days, weeks to find out what's going on. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't calculate. It shouldn't be the way it is. How is it that Florida gets your results so fast? In Florida, elections were broken in 2000. They went and fixed it. Why is it that the rest of the country can't figure it out? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. But again, this should trigger you to consider 
the quality of the person that you're voting for. I will end on this. Again, we are not a democracy. We never have been. We were specifically designed as a republic because democracies, <coughs> excuse me, democracies have a tendency to turn into bad places. They turn to tyranny given enough time. The Constitution and the way the American government has been set up has protected us from that for a couple hundred plus years now. And that's a good thing. But we still have to fight to protect it. And how we fight to protect it is by choosing the kind of people that we put into office. So consider these, these stories that we went through. Consider what you already know. And consider the quality of the person that you're voting for today. And make sure that your vote makes sense. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, and you can disagree with me. And even if you do, I still encourage you to go out and vote because that is your franchise as an American citizen. You have that right, you have that duty, and you should go exercise it whether you agree with me or not. But consider who you're putting in there to take care of business for you. And at the end of the day, when you're done voting, your job doesn't end here. You need to hold them accountable to the results that you expect. And if they don't get the job done, you let them know. And if they continue to not get the job done, you boot them out. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because my voice is about to die. <laughs> Just, <coughs> yeah, we're going to leave it there. Please do like, subscribe, share. Go vote. Have a great day. Enjoy the results tonight. Until the next time I see you, thank you for watching.